I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters I'm going to start a series that documents how I built a Frankencaster. Frankencaster is basically a uh, Stratocaster type guitar, or really any guitar. It's built out of different parts of different guitars. The body showed up covered in duct tape. Fortunately it was a guitar body. And uh, so the big challenge in the first episode is getting the duct tape off and getting all the goo and adhesive from the duct tape off. So I hope you find this episode uh, enjoyable and useful. Here's the body of the Frankenstrat. It came in from the graveyard today. You can see here somebody's put this duct tape all over it. It's not going to be fun to get off because uh, duct tape has really uh, tough adhesive on it. You can see here that the duct tape that was overlapping this that I started to pull off actually pulled off the top layer of the duct tape and left the webbing right there. It's actually pulling off okay. We'll see what happens. It's got a tremolo bridge right here and let's turn it over. Uh, there's the back plate there. Uh, let me take that off real quick. All right, we'll take this back off here. I, I just removed the screws. And uh, there's the tremolo right here. You can see the tape kind of actually folds down on the inside there. All right, the cool thing about this body is it, it has a square cavity here, which means I can put pretty much any... Um, pickup configuration I want in it. Somebody cut this off right here. Uh, the neck pocket is in good shape, uh, but the neck is not in that great of shape. All right, here's the neck of this thing. You can see somebody has uh, varnished this neck. Uh, again, I think an attempt to make it look cooler. Uh, I don't think it was a successful attempt. You can see the label right here. This is apparently a Behringer guitar. It's not an actual uh, Fender Strat or any other type of Fender for that matter. So I'm going to replace this neck with a little bit better of a neck. If you look on the back here, these aren't really great tuners either, so I'll have new tuners there. There is a uh, back plate here. One of these screws is bent. This one right here. Or, no, it's this one, I guess. And... Um, so we'll have to replace the screws, and, and I've actually got another back plate I'm gonna, that I've ordered for this. All right, here's the uh, guitar body right here. I've gotten most of the duct tape off of it. Uh, I just left a little bit, or maybe about a quarter of it, on the lower corner there, just to show a comparison of what it was like. Uh, up here you see there's a bunch of places where the glue or the adhesive stuck on. Down here it didn't stick so much. And the paint looks like it's in pretty good shape, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these screws. Uh, and some of them, I guess, were meant for a different pick guard. Or maybe there were multiple pick guards on here. Uh, they look kind of in sloppily. So I'm going to take these out. And hopefully the new pick guard I get will cover over any holes. I think it will. All right, I have this stuff called, uh, what is it called? It's called Goo Gone. And what that does is it's supposed to take off adhesive and glue and stuff off of things and just gooey things. And it shouldn't affect the paint. I'm going to try a little bit on the back here and test it out to see, to make sure it doesn't do anything to the paint before I do uh, anything on the front. does seem to be working and it does seem to uh, not bother the paint so I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to clean some of this off with it. All right here's the body of the Frankenstrat. I'm not sure what this body is from because the neck that I got with it did not go to it and I uh, verified the fact that, that neck was just totally separate from this guitar. So this body actually might be from Fender or, or might be a Squire body even uh, an older one uh, this type of route here is called a bathtub route or a swimming pool route. And Fender actually started doing that in their various guitars, including American ones, Mexican, 
and I believe uh, Squires as well, as early as 1983 they did it in some models. Uh, so that is a type of routing that Fender does and has done. Alright, this is the replacement neck that I got for this body. And this is made for a Fender. And the interesting thing is this fits right in this pocket about as good as it could. There is a gap here, but the sides fit perfectly. And it seems as though the uh, screw holes that were already drilled in this particular neck fit on this guitar. So I'm going to try that out and see how that works. If it doesn't, I'm going to end up having to plug the holes up and uh, re-drill them, which is what I would have to do anyway if it wasn't the right neck. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. Be seeing you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.